Yeah, it's a dry heat, all right. We can, we can talk about proxy list things today. Uh, proxy list is, is an interesting uh, So, so one thing I, I will say, uh, and did we start? I have started recording. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just kick this meeting off. Hey, everyone. Uh, this is Dan Cerulli from the uh, from Google and from the um, Eastio Steering Committee here today, subbing in for Louis Ryan, who is also on the TOC and Steering Committee. Um, we have a very light agenda today. Uh, I will I will share it um, as always. The Agenda is open to the public and anyone who has anyone who has uh, items they'd like to put on the agenda is always welcome to, to put them on. Um, one thing I would like to call attention to is the um, a, a change that's been a set of major changes to the uh, steering committee charter. Um, I highly recommend people uh, go to the Istio community. Um, uh, repo and check out uh, PR361. It's by me. I'm Oak Towner because I live in Oakland. I don't know if my camera is still on, but I'm wearing my my Oakland professional soccer shirt right now. Um, we have, uh, you know, uh, we made some big news uh, last month when Google announced, or earlier this month when Google announced it was donating the trademark for um, Istio, that is the, own, the the name and the logo to the open usage comment to administer the trademark. Uh, we, as always, remain very uh, committed not only to uh, fair trademark usage, but open governance. And, and uh, we have always had a steering committee uh, charter that's been published. Uh, however, when we started the steering committee and it was just us and IBM, um, it was just I, us and IBM on the steering committee. And so we've been thinking for a while and actually working for a while on verbiage to up Date the charter, um, just to, to uh, uh, really make it a little bit more mature as the, as the product uh, as the project has become more mature. And one of the big goals right now, in fact, I would say the biggest goal that we have right now, we have uh, Googlers and IBMers and one uh, person from Red Hat on the on the steering committee. And uh, while we have been very good at getting contributors to the project from many companies, maintainers from the from the project in many companies. And uh, now, even on the TOC, there are four companies represented. Uh, the steering still has not that way. And, and we've decided that it is, uh, not only is open governance important, but it's very important to get a diversity of uh, opinions on the steering committee itself. And the steering committee doesn't make technical decisions, but it does make decisions about things like marketing and, uh, you know, we, we, we write the code of conduct, so how we, how we run the project, but importantly, you know, how, how the project presents itself. And we've decided, uh, we being the people who are on the steering committee now from IBM, Google, and Red Hat, that it is important to get more diversity of opinion and perspective on that, um, on that committee. And to that end, we've, uh, I, I wrote the proposal, I, I checked in the PR, we all worked on this verbiage together, kind of trying to come up with something that will guarantee that we get people from more uh, companies on the on the uh, steering committee, um, we are really uh, like fostering this um, use of uh, of um, the the project as an ecosystem, and we would really like uh, to get other companies who have vested interests in the success of the project to have a say in how the project is run. That's essentially what it comes down to. So I encourage you if you have not looked at and commented on that pull request, uh, please do. Um, you'll see that we have a, 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 basically we're having two different types of seats on the project, on the steering committee. One type of seat will be um, based on the amount of contribution that companies make to the project. So we wanna make sure that the companies that are, you know, really, really putting a lot of resources into the project in terms of like putting full-time developers. We want to make sure that they get uh, represented on the steering committee. 
but then you'll see that there's also uh, what we call community seats. And, and for community seats, we are going to introduce an election. And, and that election is to allow community members to choose other people to sit on the steering committee. Um, these cannot be from companies that have contribution uh, seats. So it is, it is going to be, we'll take the top, I think it's three companies in terms of contribution. But then after that, it's who the community feels like really would represent themselves. So there will be a self-nomination process and, a, um, and, and then a vote. And our goal there is to get uh, other people who are really passionate about the project and want to steer it in the right direction, whether they are from uh, contributors, whether they are uh, from um, users, would be, would be more than welcome up there. So please take a look at uh, that PR. Uh, in, in the uh, steering committee charter. Um, it is, yeah, you know, as I said, we've always been committed to open governance. Uh, we're really trying to open it up and we're really trying to make sure that uh, the, the companies and the people who, who uh, really care about the success of the, of the project are getting represented at that level. Um, again, the steering committee does not set the technical agenda for the project. That's the TOC. The TOC is a, you know, we have a progression from, uh, you know, contributor to maintainer to working group lead. It's a TOC that exists, but we're, we want to get it for people who have a say in how the project is run. So take a look at that and comment on that PR if you're interested. Um, we will, I hope, get that hammered out. The existing steering committee members will, will vote on it um, sometime soon. And then we would schedule an election very quickly uh, to elect some community members. So check that out. Uh, I see that uh, our, our TPM Shweta did put the uh, 1.7 status in here, although she is not up here to give the update. Uh, I am woefully uh, uh, underqualified to give this update. Um, but as always, the, this uh, doc is open and people can look at it. Uh, work for 1.7 is, as you can see, uh, well underway. Um, and as always, did a lot on it. Um, so uh, if you are contributing to 1.7, thank you very much. Um, I already do hear people talking about what's going to go into 1.8, but as you can see, there is, there's a lot going on um, in 1.7 right now. Does anyone have any updates from the, uh, any contributors here have anything in particular that they'd like to uh, call attention to? Okay, it doesn't seem so. Um, I would like to check out the August 5th CNCF webcast on debugging with Istio. Someone put this on the agenda? Yeah, hey Dan, it was me. Yeah, it's uh, Neeraj and, and John are doing that one in a couple weeks here. Should be a good one. That is great. Um, oh, okay, yeah, that's John. Yeah, yep, yep. Uh, that's an all-star. That, that's an all-star cast right there. Yeah, sure. Right. Uh, yeah. So Neeraj and John are two uh, two working group leads. Um, seven in the morning Pacific time. I'm definitely going to that. Yeah. While well, I'm, I'm on vacation. Good morning to that one too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, yeah, that's great. Um, you know what? The other thing I will do, uh, I will put that on the Istio community calendar. I think Craig actually added it, Dan. I, I oh, is it already on? To him last uh, week. Let I me to see you did it. I, I can I can peek over there. He does have right access over there. Yeah. Um, it is on there. Yes, as always. The uh, you know. Back when meetups existed in the world, we did we did try to make sure all those the local events and, and internet events are on the community calendar. Um, so uh, Craig Box, I'm new to that. Cool. Uh, I probably will try and, and check that out. Okay. Well, that's uh, as I said, a very light agenda today. Um, so now is typically when we uh, open the floor to questions. Um, we don't necessarily have all of the uh, 
all of the, the technical people here can, who can take them on. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Um, if you do have questions, this is a perfectly good time to, uh, to ask them. Um, and if we don't have someone here on the call who can answer it, we can often direct you to the uh, right people or the right working group to, to take that on. So I, I will open the floor. Um, and if anyone has any questions, they can speak up. And if they don't, I guess we can all get back to work. So does anyone have any questions? Anyone attending their first community meeting? Okay, well, it seems like it's a light summer month and, uh, and people are off out and about. Um, we have releases coming up, so I have plenty of stuff on my plate. Um, yeah, so I guess we will wrap this up. Uh, I will just say one more time, um, in the Istio uh, community, uh, uh, repo, do look at that pull request. Um, they, 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 we've been through a bunch of revisions. Don't feel the need to comment, but if you see anything very important, let us know. Um, and do think about uh, for your companies, if you think that, uh, or, or yourselves, if you'd like to uh, get a seat, uh, you'd earn one weekly meeting uh, <laughs> If we're sitting on the steering committee, um, and you would get a voice for for uh, how the project markets itself um, and uh, how we run the project. So, so uh, I, I think we're going to be able to to work out the details on this. And um, yeah, I look forward to to getting some some new people on that steering committee. So, all right. With that, I will stop this recording and uh, thank everybody.